This video tutorial is for downloading, installing, and setup of the iPhone and iPad application Lorex Mobile Echo for your Echo Series DVR so you can view your system remotely. You must have an OS version of 4.0 and above. Firstly, you must complete the setup process for remote viewing on your DVR to obtain your DDNS address. You must also port forward port 1025 the default mobile port in your router create a DDNS account and enable DDNS on your DVR for details on this see your DVR quick start guide to find your HTT port open the system information window from your DVR in the settings menu and look under HTT port lastly you'll need the remote user ID and password of your DVR for mobile access, the default username is admin and the default password is 0000. In the iTunes Store, search for Lorex Mobile Echo. Click Download and install the app on your iPhone or iPad. Enter your App Store password if required. Once installed, the apps icon will appear in your application list. Touch the Lorex Mobile Echo icon. Then touch the Settings tab and then touch Add. The DVR setup screen will appear. For device name, enter any name of your choice for the system. For the address, enter the local IP of the DVR or enter the DDNS address of the DVR. For example, tomsmith.lorexddns.net. For the port, enter the mobile port number of the DVR. By default, the port number is 1025. For the user ID, enter the user ID of the DVR. By default, it is admin. For the password, enter the DVR's mobile access password. By default, it is 0000. For max channel, enter the number of channels of the DVR, 4, 8, or 16. Touch the OK button and then touch the back button. To connect your DVR, in the quad view, touch the plus button. Then touch the name of your DVR and select the channel that you want to be displayed in that square. You can double tap the channel to view video in full screen. To delete accounts from the device list, swipe your finger on the blue arrow beside the device name. The delete button will appear and touch it to remove the account. Now you can remotely view your system on your iPhone or iPad.